Hello there, my name is Mr Philip Daly. I'm a consultant vascular and endovascular surgeon at the University Hospital of North Durham. And this afternoon we're going to do a SFA angioplasty on a symbionics angiomentor. So uh, the case is a 75-year-old gentleman uh, who's a calf claudicant and uh, essentially we have the, the setup um, as is shown with his vitals on the main screen. Uh, we've already pre-selected um, a sheath um, which will be five French interventional sheath to go integrate into his right groin and pre-selected uh, the wire and we'll come back to that in a bit more detail later. So we've already pre-selected the sheath, it hasn't engaged it yet so we just advance the sheath which lights up on the, the large monitor we can see and if I now screen you will be able to see the sheath in the groin. I would like to just come a little inferior to the patient. Now there's still an introducer in the sheath and you have to select that out by removing the dilator if you look at the left hand monitor. And then if I screen again, dilator's gone. So at this stage we are in an AP position. I am going to perform a diagnostic angiogram by selecting the DSA which is the middle pedal and injecting contrast. There doesn't seem to be much uh, to see uh, that's awry on that point, but it is a, a sheath run, it's a groin run, so we'll need to do an oblique so that we can see the femoral bifurcation. And for this, uh, we need to put a little bit of ipsilateral oblique, so it is right groin, so we would be going RAO. And that's cranial. So we've, done, we've now just done a diagnostic run in an AP projection and now we're going to, if you look at the, the gantry position, we now have uh, 20 degrees of uh, right anterior oblique in order to profile the femoral bifurcation. So just check our position, Cent center up on that, arm your sheath and we'll do a DSA run. And there you can see a uh, disease at the origin of the right SFA, uh, which is not immediately apparent on the AP run. So that in itself shows you the, the benefit of doing an oblique run in the groin. Um, we will now go on and do a full diagnostic run of the leg. Um, uh, which will... and tail going down to mid thigh. We'll just leave the oblique on for now. And there's no distal SFA disease to see. And go to the knee joint. And again, arm your sheath, DSA run. We'll need to pop the teal looks very clean. Take the map off. Below need pop the teal spared with three good vessels. center up on the, for the tibial vessels. Very good. And down as far as we can get, usually to the ankle joint, to the, to the mortis joint. If the system will allow us to go, yes it will. So again, DSA run. 
So distal peroneal peters out, but nothing that we're going to treat. We can see a good anterior tibial and a posterior tibial vessel crossing the ankle. So we know at this stage that the disease we're going to treat is that isolated SFA segment in the very proximal SFA. So now what we can do is we move back up um, to the area of concern. Soon we'll be getting there. Okay, so there's a sheath at the tip of the screen. Uh, at this point, um, we've moved, obviously moved the CM. Um, ultimately, I'm hoping now that we don't have to move the CM and CM anymore. So we'll do another run just to show that lesion, so that we can move, we can take all maps from that. And there you go, centre of the screen. That's what we're going to be treating. Okay, so um, we have a sheath in. The next uh, item we have to consider is the wire, which has been pre-selected. That's an 035 angled glide wire, uh, which we would pass through the sheath. And once it's engaged, you'll see the box on the left-hand side of the screen light up. You don't need to screen until you've actually got it engaged. So there it is engaged, we'll just take the map, map off. Back on. And we just need to engage that wire across and negotiate it across the lesion as so. Try not to take the wire off the bottom of the screen, good practice. So we now have a wire across the intended uh, angioplasty segment. Um, at this stage, what I would normally do is give some heparin because um, we do have we have successfully negotiated the lesion. We leave the wire in, and then if we go to the active screen and pick, a the first thing we what we could do is to measure the vessel. So if you go to caliper, and then take your cursor over to the SFA, click one of the side of the vessel wall. So it's a five millimeter vessel. And the lesion length. Nearly four centimetres. So a five by forty millimeter balloon would not be an unreasonable choice. So we clear those markings. Select uh, angioplasty balloon, five millimeter, five by forty millimeter. And you'll see it now featuring on the left hand uh, panel. Of the, the large monitor and at this stage we use the catheter which will signify the balloon in reality it's much easier you have a glamorous assistant doing this for you Let's just check. So the wire still hasn't migrated, that's good. And the balloon still hasn't engaged in the system. So I'm going to stop screening and wait till the balloon does engage in the system. And that will be apparent when that box lights up with PTA balloon 5x40, which, which it will in a moment. Check my wire position. Seems like it's got to go in a long way. There it is, it's just lit up there and now. So if I screen, you should see the balloon coming in into the, into the active screen. And there it is, just exiting the sheath. Just negotiating across the lesion now. And the top, you, the top marker is now just in the origin of the SFA, and the bottom marker is below the, 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 uh, 
the stenosis. So it's often easier to see if you take the mask off. So ensuring that you don't move the balloon, we know now we, we now know that that angioplasty balloon is in the in the correct area. So just to double check what the pressures are on the angioplasty balloon, just click on the information bubble here, and that tells you that the nominal pressure is six atoms and the burst pressure is ten atoms. And if you go to your inflation device, and as I say, screen without the mask. We're not getting any inflation yet. Here it goes, but you can see some wasting on the balloon there now. I'm at two atoms. And that's just beginning to get up to nominal size. And we're up to six atoms now. And I'll leave it at about eight. In reality, I'd leave this up for probably 30 seconds. And then deflate the balloon. The rapid release. So once you ensure the balloon is deflated, you can withdraw. Pull that wire back a touch, I don't like the wire going off the screen. Withdraw the balloon, leaving the wire across the lesion at all times. Now it's disengaged um, from the system, so we'll do a check angiogram with the wire across the angioplasty segment. And this again is just a DSA run. And there uh, you see a successful angioplasty um, across the SFA segment. Uh, and that completes the treatment. The only thing else to do would be a below knee run just to ensure that you haven't caused any uh, iatrogenic injury, put out a successful SFA angioplasty.